all right welcome back to the channel i'm kiki bad in today's video we're back with scom kai mirror squad i slurred my words all through that statement anyways this is the one we're gonna do we got shelter back on the team and oh the game's just quiet right now we got shelter back on the team so we can try and figure out more about what his abilities can do for us We'll give him the clip because that's just what we have. I do want him to have region weave because he does take a lot of damage. This is why he keeps ending up with scars. He's probably has the most out of everyone on the team. We'll give him the med kit and we'll give him. We'll give him venom rounds and do we have anyone who can carry three AP nano med kit. Trank rounds, acid grenade, nano med kit tracer. So then for you, yeah, we'll give you the motile inducer. Yeah, this way he could teleport with somebody and then give them another turn. Does it say instantly? Target's an ally gains two actions immediately, does not affect the target's cooldown. So if it means instantly like I think it does, that would mean at the start of Shelter's turn, he could throw the Motile Inducer. Or he can teleport with someone like, let's say Axiom is in the middle of the field. He could teleport with Axiom, throw the Motile Inducer on Axiom, give him his turns, right? And then when it gets back to shelter, wherever Axiom is, we can teleport back out. So Axiom stays in the same position where we want him, which is kind of open. So he can get shot and build up his rage. And then we can uh, put shelter in that spot, which means he'll probably be, be behind enemy lines flanking them. So he gets a lot of good shots or not even getting good shots, but just moving Axiom out of the way and give him shots somewhere else. I think Axiom is where I'm going to use that with his teleport, basically. Don't know if I explained that properly. So because I put shots during the breach will crit. Looks like, right? We'll stun. And then over here, we take one less damage during the breach. I like this one better because they're going to be surprised on shots. And then Axiom's also going to panic if it goes off. Or has the chance to panic, at least. Shoot behind me. All right, we'll go for the thrall here. I know if we land the shot, it's gonna stun. Axiom had to take a few shots back, or a few steps backwards, just so it can show off a little bit. Go for this thrall again. He's the only one who's aggressive, so might as well take him out with everything we have first. We can go for this thrall. And you can just take that shot normally. I guess we didn't have to take out that hostile. I guess we didn't have to take out that uh that thrall that we shot at because he was gonna be stunned and not uh and not aggressive anymore. There you go, got it. Actually, you can use smash on this, right? I hope if you face the right way, be honest. To be honest, dog. And then I'll just take a shot at the number three, dude. Yeah, I was going to say, I should have a pretty high chance to hit and a pretty high chance to crit. Yep. Didn't manage to take him out, though. Just slightly not enough health. Our damage done. Off the crest. You still stand. That's what my All right, that's pretty good. So at a point like this, I might teleport with Storms tear the deep. with Axiom to move him back or something like that. Let him heal himself. Maybe do something else after that and then put him back in the spot. Use Dead Eye on this thing because it's going to do bonus damage. And there's always a 100% chance to hit this thing. Heads up. So it says Dead Eye gave the bonus damage. And then we have Lightning Hands. Can we see this person? 97% chance here. Still got it. And we could go for this one. We only have one encounter here. And it looks like you can see everybody in the room. You can see all but the number seven dude. So yeah, we might as well go for it, right? What are the chances to hit with this?
Who's the number three dude? Let them. Go for a dead eye on them. 70% chance isn't too bad. Yeah, and that takes them out of the turn order. I think that was a better use of that move. Sticky bomb on number three. Shit, I did it again. I'm not supposed to start with that move, but I keep doing it anyways. And that almost killed a civilian too, so that would have been pretty bad. So now, can I give the Motel Inducer to Axiom from here? I can. Which means that I can teleport with Axiom right now. Changing locale. I can work with this. Use the Motile Inducer again on Axiom. Have Axiom use Firstly Psycho, of course. Who wants some? Can you smash on either this thing? It can do three to six, which would take it out. Or I can try and hit this thing, which would take it out too. Which I think I'm gonna go for this. Now, I can't teleport again with him, which is what I, for some reason, was thinking I'd be able to do. But I can knock them down in the turn order with his move. Which gives Axiom, who's still right after him, another chance to get up here. Uh, destroy the server to stop reinforcements. Just take a shot at it then. Yeah, five to seven damage. I was going to say, if the game isn't on bullshit, it's going to give it to me. I know it's going to be on bullshit, that's why I didn't say nothing. Source is teleporting. What does that do? Does that let him control it? No, it gives him a bonus action. I think lucky it moved over because I might have used that. Oh, it gives it a whole bonus turn. I was probably going to use phase lance, like drop, uh, move that down in this corner and use phase lance on him. Who can you get? Who can you see with dead eye? Okay. And then you can just use phase lance on you. Cool. Got the hostile. Oh, we still didn't break that thing though, did we? No, because it still has one health left. That just leaves Claymore open to do that with no shame. And that's the mission completed. Two people unharmed. The service farms wasn't wasn't just augmenting the progeny's ailing codex. It helped sustain it. They must have a network of these around the city. With that, you compound with what you found. 31 PD should be able to trace them and shut them down. God damn. Like I forgot how to read. A codex? I don't even know if they're technically living. I'd put them in put them at the same rough equivalent as a gremlin. If we're being honest, they're mostly just programming. Freaky programming. Transcript XCOM Engineering Corp internal training. All right. PD identified psionic radicals as the perpetrators of last night's attack at Highland Square. Commissioner Maloof proposed the idea of a registry for psionic residents. The registry would have a deterrent effect on an invisible crime. All must be held accountable. But some residents argue this proposal is an invasion of privacy and an attack on civil liberties. I wear my dampener without complaint. Why should I be punished for another's poor choices? More as it develops. This is Celio Dash for Channel 37. I think I've already talked about the, the political issues with that in the last episode, so I'm not even going to get into it again. I was going to say but and then go right into it. Uh, thankfully, there were no oppositions at the stash house. Still, 31 PD is grateful for the assistance. Oh, yeah. Marvel is making, or not Marvel, Fear Axe, the people who make this game, are making. Yeah, uh, Firax, the people, or Firax, I think I pronounced this Firax earlier today. 
uh they are making a marvel game and the marvel game is going to be a strategy game apparently i say apparently right my channel is just for strategy games or at least that's just the games that i prefer right now i've never really played them on xbox because i didn't like how they play on pc way better way better so i guess i'll be playing those for the channel too since that's what i've been doing i kind of want to get this for the master crafted armor but i don't need to because it's going to get done over time anyways over here though this is going to give me a turncoat grenade and the relocation disc and the mind shield all three of those are things that you get once you complete the progeny so don't get here means we're stealing the progeny's equipment pretty much which is going to be useful for us to especially with that turn grenade because we can give that to claymore who's going to essentially be a psionic on his turns at least once in the encounter be a psionic for his turns so i think that's where it's going to be most powerful at damn i think i have i don't think i have an exotic submachine gun but i hope i don't and i'm just not using it or i hope i don't because then it's not going to look dumb Do we bring Torque? I don't think so. Nah, she's in training. Surprise shots on enemies will stun. Who has the scanner? Is it Shelter? Yeah. Blue Blood. And then Claymore. Follow me. Is this the lady right here? Oh, why does this look so familiar right now? Oh, I just edited a video that was in a similar position. Okay. Take a shot on them. I think that gray still killed, though. Use a land shot here. Which increases our chances to hit them. And that They're stunned now. We go for a hitman, the necromancer. No, we'll just go for them then. There's no point in taking that low of a shot if I have a higher chance one, right? I think the sound of me opening my mouth is coming through the mic. I hope it's not getting recorded, but I know I can hear it uh, in the talkback. Okay, what's happening, game? There's a bomber right here, it looks like. Right? Smash number three. The party. Damn, I don't like bridges and VIP missions now. From the last episode or the last series where I ended up losing a VIP from a car exploding randomly. And shit, I almost want to keep him in here. Who's the number two person? That necromancer? So yeah, I already didn't put them in a good spot. Cut across right here still though. I might as well. Disorientated? Spectral zombies. That's not bad. Usually we can handle the zombies before they get anything done anyways. Because I have to kill the necromancer, so that's not a problem. We'll move here. Then use uh soul fire on the number two dude. That pushes them down on the turn order and gives Blue Blood his turn before they go. So now who can you see from here? Who can you see that's worth shooting from here? Go for a dead eye here, 73% chance. Okay. And we shredded some of the armor off too, so the next shot would do more damage. Then we'll go for lightning hands. Still not really trying to shoot those spectral zombies because it's pointless, right? And just have Axiom get the, the Necromancer on the next turn. And now the Phase Lance on this dude. And I don't think a flat bread can blow up. I don't think a flat bed can blow up. I said flat bread last time. So we should be fine leaving the dude, the dude, the lady right here, the scientist. Yeah, there you go. This? Okay, that's fine. That one got me. Still up. Does it make why is she cutting over there? Oh, this is Claymore. Never mind. They're ninth. The zombies. Can I get a grenade over here? Ooh, I can. There, there, there it is. Gotta put some spin on that shit and bounce it through the middle of the uh 
the middle of the subway system. Okay, that's that. Put this right here on them. So the number 10 is going to die either way. And then I'm going to shoot a sticky bomb at the number 9. Or I can go for a sticky bomb on... No, I can't go for it on them. I was going to say or on the uh, the necromancer, but I couldn't see them from this angle. Oh. Now whose turn is it? Chelsea's? Now it's Axiom's. We use Adrenal Surge yet? We did not. All right, so now we can go for a smash on the Necromancer. Right. From this angle. I'm going to take out those two now, too. And I could go... Go for Overwatch, then. Oh, I'm ready for him. Don't burn through your ammo. He already burned through his ammo. Guaranteed. I'll move this person all the way up here and then I'll use the I use team up on them so they can get their turn and get out of here. I think. What are your chances to hit? That, damn, does that shit blow up and not kill him? Thought they were supposed to be out at the turn. 78 there, 50 there. Let's make sure we use team. Uh, no, let's use the most Hall inducer on them, right? And because anyone can use team up, but if I have a chance to get shell out now, then a modal inducer will be better to use for them because then everyone else can still use team up, but only one person can use the modal inducer. But I'll go for this shot here. Just because I feel like there's still too many of them left. I'm out. And really no point to not uh, free reload. Oh, I did have an auto loader. That Someone else must have been holding it then. Uh, is that a normal shot? Go for a, uh, Yeah, let's go for a normal shot first. So that doesn't end his turn, if I remember correctly. Not my best. I have a move up, actually. I need a better angle. Then if this hitman tries to move, he's going to get shot at by blue blood anyways. And that lets us get our motion into. And we managed to take him out still. So yeah, that works out. Now you can just dash away over to here. So I'm sure on the next turn, they're going to be like, it's uh reinforcements coming in. Yep. But Axiom can first use team up on Claymore. Uh, no. I have blue blood used team up on Claymore. You can make it out. I don't want. I don't know why it's doing a while. Whatever. Anyways. I should use. I can't teleport. All right. I guess I'll just leave then. Shoot, you can't make it. Ooh, use team up then. Did I already use team up? I use no, I didn't. I'm confused. Yeah, I'm definitely confused now. Do like this like that though. And can he make it out? No, he can't either. So we'll see where he falls in the turn order. We have an angle, I think. No, we don't. Number three dude is way across the way, so they might not be able to get an angle on Claymore before they ha before he leaves. Safety is utmost. Get going. The person ran back and forth. Are they in a line? I'll put blue blood right here, right? For land shot. Yep. Dropping the hammer. Got the hostile. Cool. You can use evac now, and you're out of here. See how she floats. That car better not blow up off one shot. All right, cool. 
and you can get out of here. All right, the hydro technician made it to the safe house. Through MPD thinks that thinks the attack is related to our current investigation. So send us what they have. without permission was a capital offense. It took the end of the war for us to finally see it for what it was. Just the warehouse, just warehouses, cargo yards and train tracks. Go to Bucktown, a local guide to City 31. All right. Somehow, the progeny got their hands on an experimental codex. They're using it in ways it was never intended. Take advantage of this. If you force them to spread it thin, the codex will deteriorate. All right. Well, as the city council debates a psionic registry, some residents feel they are out of touch. Recent disappearances of hybrid citizens have left their families in disarray. She wouldn't have just left like this. Someone took her. They must have. Commissioner Maloof issued an official response. 31 PD is actively looking into these missing persons. This matter is our top priority. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. We're getting going for another free field team. And I didn't realize this stuff was so high right now. What else was I going to say? I can't remember. Oh, well. All right. I think we have everything else checked out. I don't know how this got so high. I don't remember there being anything right there, especially anything that we didn't do. Uh, liberate the R&D firm. I should just do this right now. Although both of them are going to go up by one no matter what I choose to do. Oh, I can use Dragnet down here. Uh, I'm probably going to forget to do that in my next episode though. Because that's going to be all for this one. That next mission is going to take way longer than we have time for in this one. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow the other socials in the description down below. Uh, like the video, share it. All that stuff helps me grow the channel. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.